And so, panel starts with a transparency, and if we near a window, it gets opaque. If we put a light theme, the text will become dark, but clutter can't animate the text colors. If we set a theme that contains both light and dark areas, or it has noise, the panel will get opaque. And as a side note, the detection algorithm is on mutter, which is why shell extensions can't mimic that behavior that good. Now, if on one desktop we have an opaque panel, switching to another will animate with a quick fade out, and a fade in on the opposite case. That was pretty much everything, but I want to also give some background, especially for the newer GNOME users. For start, a transparent panel was originally introduced in GNOME like 7 years ago, on version 3.22 or something like that, but it was removed a couple of releases later because of legibility issues. Back then, the texture detection was poorly implemented, and there was also a semi-transparent panel. Same time we had the drop, there was a new merge request that was addressing the current issues, like the noisy backgrounds, so it could paint the correct colors. I'm not sure what exactly went wrong with that, but then Alan Day was all over emoji smiles, and Jonas was like, maybe we can manage to get this working in time for GNOME 41. Or maybe not. I don't know. Hashtag sarcasm. And finally, we come two days ago with another merge request, the one on the video, that very hopefully will be on GNOME 46. Or maybe not.